everyone, a few things before we start square one. I'm so excited and I hope that you love your project. So, any time during the video that you need to pause, feel free to do so. Um, with me, we're going to pause after every step just to give you enough time to complete your project. The second thing, I would love for you to draw in pencil first and then trace over your lines with Sharpie. I always draw with Sharpie so you can see, but I would like for you to draw with pencil first so you can make any changes you like and then trace over with Sharpie. Lastly, when we're coloring, we really want to take our time. So go slow, make sure we leave little to no white space when using our markers, and most importantly, I really want you to have fun, so enjoy. All right, we're going to get started on our square one project. We are going to be drawing a cake. But before we can do that, we need to draw the frame going around your page. Frame around the page. Now we're going to draw the bottom of the cake stand. So towards the bottom, I'm going to draw a straight line. Draw a straight line. Go down down and then connect my straight lines okay then draw a curved line and a curved line next I need to draw my cake so I'm gonna draw a curved line and a curved line and I'm going to connect them over. Okay. Next layer. Curved line. Curved line. Connect them over. Curved line. Curved line. Connect them over. And then I can draw something on top. Draw a cherry. Frosting. Wavy line. So we draw a wavy line. Wavy line. In each of the corners, you will see a square. I would like you to add a shape. It can be the same shape or a different shape. I chose to do four hearts in each corner. Now I'm going to add stripes all the way around the edge of the frame. You can add stripes or a different line design if you want to put wavy lines or any other kind of line like a zigzag you can as well but i am adding stripes all the way around so now in my four corners i have shapes and in the rectangles of the frame i have lines at this time if you've drawn in pencil you need to outline with sharpie and then it will be time for us to color I chose to color using chocolate and strawberry, but you can use any marker colors. Use a solid color for the background and a solid color for the frame. At this point, you wanna make sure you've left no white space when you've colored, and you're gonna add your name and the year. Please ask me or anyone else that you have around you for any questions, and here, I had to sign my name on my example too. But make sure your name and your exam uh, is in the middle. I hope you enjoyed.